Hello everyone and welcome to the Fire Mage changes and reworks on the Battle for Azeroth Alpha. As normal I'm going to be doing this single target and then the AoE talents and I'll be talking about just in general what's happening and yeah. So your first talent, Fire Starter, same as it was in Legion. Uh, your Fireball and Pyroblast spells always deal a critical strike when the target's above 90% health. Don't really like taking this because you know it's not going to stay 90% a lot. So yeah, Pyromaniac casting Pyroblast or Flame Street or Flame Strike while Hot Streak is active. It's just RNG. I don't really like taking that. So I take Searing Touch so that when the target is below 30% health, I've just got crazy, insane execution execution damage. So yeah, I take that. Next one, Blazing Soul casting Blink will give you a Blazing Barrier, and Blast Wave worked as it was when it was implemented. I just take Shimmer because it's just really, really good, and you can just cast and move. Next one is down to you, but I like taking Encanter's Flow because Rune Power isn't that effective as fire because I'm going to be moving around a lot because I've got instant cast, so I'm going to be moving a lot. So I don't ever take Rune of Power. And Mirror Image, you don't really get a lot of uses of it, so I just use Encanter's Flow. The next one, Phoenix Flames, which was the um, was the artifact weapon for fire, has been back, but it says a talent. Um, it says the same. Alex Strizer's Fury, Dragon's Beth, gives you a instant crit and Flame On. I just take Flame on, especially for single target, because I'm just getting even more crits out of it. And Phoenix Flame isn't hasn't got that much use out of it out of it after you've used the charges. And every 20 seconds to get a guaranteed crit is worse than getting the fire blast. Eight seconds and a guaranteed crit. So I take Flame on. Next one, I take Friend Friendet Friend Friendetic Speed, because obviously when I scorch at 30 percent health, I'm going to be moving as well, which is just really, really, really good. Ice Ward and Ring of Frost don't really get the use out of it. Next one, Flame Patch, same as it was in Legion, leaves a patch of flame behind after you. Flame Strike, Living Bomb, it's the same. I just take Unstable Magic, just Fireball has a 25% chance to deal 40% additional damage to the target. So I just use that. The next one, Meteor's back, which is the last talent, and so is Kindling. Uh, they both work the same as they did in Legion, but now, Pyroclasm. Is it's the legendary that it's the wrist legendary that Fire Mage uses to get your next pyro to be to be non-instant but deal 300% increased damage. I take this one because I just like using it. And if you played Fire Mage in Legion, you'll be used to using the 300% uh, additional damage. So I just showcase it now. It's not much change, just that you've got the extra fire blast. So I'll try and show the um, the legendary in action. So I use combustion now, so I've got the guaranteed crit. And just time warp so I get a bit more haste. So now use my instant. So that's all instant. Use my pyro. Use my pyro again. I want to see if there's a light up animation for the... Um, yep, so... Pyroclasm. They should probably make that light up because not a lot of people can see it. So just move. Increase the critical chance of my next pyro blast. So you just want to keep doing this. So now you've got enhanced pyrotechnics. So your fireball. So yeah, you just want to keep doing it as you would in Legion. Just fireball, guaranteed crit, hot streak. Use up my hot streak. Use my hot streak again. And now I've got pyroclasm. So my next pyroblast is going to deal 300% increased damage. So I'll use that now. Pyro. Use fireball. Use my guaranteed crit. Use fireball. When I've got the guaranteed crit, I'll use flame blast, fire blast, the mid mid cast, so that it's a guaranteed pyro. So when you get a proc like this, you want to use fire blast mid mid cast, so that it's a guaranteed crit. So like now, use it now, so I can come out straight out with that. Use another one straight out with that, and now I've got a uh, pyroclasm, so my next pyro is instant. So I use this pyro. Then cast another. So I've got two pyros off there for the cost of one, which is just really, really good. So as you can see, it's really, really fun when you get loads of loads of pyro blasts off. And Fire Mage is looking really, really good now that the wrist is just baseline for everyone. Now guaranteed crit, so I'll use pyro. And obviously you're not seeing the full use out of Scorch because the target's not below 30%. But obviously if you know it, if it's below 30% there. I'm just going to be using Scorch to get the um, hot, to get the heating up, and then I'd use the Fire Blast instantly just to get a crit like this. You just want to be using that. 
But now I'll get into the um, AoE legendaries now. Or AoE talent, sorry. So let me just disengage. I'll invis. Pop a tone. And now I'll change it. So you want to take... Um, you want to take Pyromaniac. So, because of the flame strikes, if you get that extra flame strike, it's going to be really good for your damage. And you're not really going to be casting Scorch a lot, and Firestar isn't going to get the use out of it, because the ads, ads aren't going to be at 90% a lot of the time. Next one you want to take is Blast Wave, because it just deals increased damage to targets around you, like that. So you just want to take that. Um, Encanter's Flow, again, is really good, because it, it's just increased damage, which is really, really good. Next one you want to take is obviously Phoenix Flames. It's going to deal 1,600 damage to the target and splash to the other ones giving you a guaranteed crit so it's just going to be really really good for you so that you can use fire blast then a phoenix and you've already got an instant flame strike and hopefully with pyromaniac procs you'll get another flame strike which is just really really good uh you can take what you want for the next one i just take frenetic frenetic speed so i can use a scorch if a ability is coming in next one you want to take is f uh, flame patch because you're going to be as soon as you get procs you're going to be using flame strike Nothing kills. And Living Bomb's just meh. It's just, if you don't put it on, you're not going to get the full use out of it. So Flame Patch is just the best. And the next one you take want to take is Meteor. Because you're not going to be casting a lot of Pyroblasts. So you're not going to, you're not going to be, you don't want to be casting Pyroblasts, basically. Because obviously with Pyroclasm, you're going to be casting Pyros. So I'll showcase now what it's like. So you just want to start off with, you can start off by putting your Meteor down. Then just start off by getting a Heat Up. Then use your Proc. Use a combustion heat. Now blast wave. You can use blast wave. Another phoenix flame, so it's a guaranteed crit. And obviously with flame patch, they're all getting damage dealt to them. And I can just scorch in the meanwhile because of that increased speed. Use a fireball. Flame strike. I got a proc. Another flame strike. Use fireballs while I've got downtime on my CDs. Now I'll use my flame strike. With a heat up, that, that, that. Hit everyone with blast wave. Use another flame strike. So it's basically the same as it was in Legion, but just with you're losing a few spells with Phoenix Flames. But it still does decent damage. You just gotta rely on the procs. But yeah, Fire Mage is looking really, really fun, especially for single target with them, with the pyros, and everyone getting pyroclasm now, and it not being a legendary. But yeah, it's really, really good, and it's it's looking good. In my previous videos, there's been a few recording problems, but now they've all been fixed. So make sure you like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.